Resolve 14, scene lighting and post, take one, marker. Now usually you'll have a director of photography, they'll very carefully craft the lighting, but sometimes, a lot of times, I've been working on documentaries or even reality TV, and there might not be a real director of photography on set, or you're in such a rush that you pretty much have to kind of totally try to create that look after the fact in the color grade. And that is what we're going to kind of be looking at here, is how like different techniques to light and post if you weren't able to light and set. Now you don't want to take over the image of the director of photography. That is a huge no-no, without their consent that is. But if you weren't able to do so and they want you to kind of craft more of a look in the color grading process, this is partly how you can do it. So this is a shot of me. Wow, that's like Inception over here. So I'm sitting here talking, probably making some kind of uh, color grade tutorial. And um, hit option S to create a new serial node and basically how you're going to do this is all going to be about power windows right here in the power window area so you kind of just want to you know well I guess before we do that let's just uh, color correct it a bit add a little bit of contrast levels adjustment, a little saturation in there and that's okay looking pretty decent and then we will go into our second serial node and we're going to start power windowing the crap out of it so this is where you have all these different options square circle you can draw your own or this is like a gradient um, I'm going to let's see let's start with a gradient one and this works just like so. We'll put it here on the left. We'll kind of want to the left to be darker. So to my my left, camera right, is a window, which is why you got the shadow here on the left, my right side of my face. And so you want to kind of to make it look realistic, mimic that a bit, but take it further. So with this, we will darken the midtones. Now, usually when I'm doing this, I like to darken the midtones more than the shadows or the gain, the you know, lift and gain because if you do that you can really start to mess with your levels and stuff if you go too extreme. So this is just the kind of the safer way of not totally screwing up your image so that like the middle's flatter or anything like that. Um, I will do this kind of more extreme than I probably normally would just you know, for the sake of tutorializing. So already if I hit Command D, let me just turn that off, you can kind of see you go from flat image, automatically it's looking way more dynamic, like the left, the left side of the screen is a lot darker. Um, and then in contrast of that, I will make a parallel node, and we will kind of do the opposite on the other side. So uh, this time I'm just going to draw my own. Oops, Command Z. No, okay, let's just turn that off. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to draw my own kind of power window. And uh, from here we'll highlight that and we'll soften it up a good bit. When you're doing this, the key is to have a lot of feather or softness. So that you're not noticing it, especially if you have camera movement. That is a huge giveaway if you see like a vignette in the movement. So also if you have movement, you can easily track these, but we don't have much movement in our shot, fortunately. So then with this, I'm going to brighten it up. Maybe I'll even pound up the highlights a bit. Cool. Now let's just turn clips off so we can see that a little better. So now we're going from this to this, which looks light, way more lit, and we are adding that light right there, and that shadow over there, just way more dynamic of an image. And then on top of that, we can make another parallel node, and we will try to put some emphasis on my face with a little uh, little power window there. 
That's a good look for me. If I do say so myself, I want to boost the midtones to 0 0.03, just lower the shadows a bit, and add a little saturation there. Uh, yeah, I like that. And then I can also just do a little color shift, a little more orange, so it's not going red. Cool. And then we can track that. Just probably go to the beginning, reposition that, and then we will track forward. And then on top of that, I hit Option O to create an outside node, which basically affects everything but. Well, first let's, uh, okay. And then we can darken everything a bit. Sort of really put an emphasis on my face. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of relighting it. If you look at the before and after, it looks like we actually had, like, lights in there. And just way more dynamic. And then from there, we can actually do a little bit of a quick grade. So I'll add a little bit of blue in the shadows. Warm up the midtones a bit. And then we will... Uh, let's just go ahead and add a bit of contrast there. This is a... These are H.264 files, so they're a little bit compressed. We can't push it too much. All right, and then we'll add another serial node, and we will basically just desaturate the uh, shadows and highlights a bit so that we're not muddying it up too much. Maybe... Yeah, so then our before, it's like this, clearly no lighting, just kind of a window light flooding in to this, which looks, in my opinion, very much, very much lit. And yeah, it's basically the key thing is just to add power windows and you can kind of shape it however you want. Keeping in mind that the more movement you have, the more you got to motion track it, it can be difficult. And you want to keep in mind other sources like this shadow here and things like that, the light on my face. But uh, yeah, that's how you can create the light after the fact in the color grade. Even if you need to like take things further, enhance it, like, okay, this is how we lit in reality, and then just take that a little further by looking at how the lighting is coming on the, the talent and then adding more or whatever you gotta do. That's the technique. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this, and then also give it that thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. More coming soon. Leave a comment, tell me what you want to learn. And as always, thanks for watching.